Okay, boys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. As always, we have the 2019 ZR1 and the 2010 ZR1 in the garage C8 Corvette coming back real soon. And if you haven't seen last night's upload, check it out all on the C8 Corvette. You guys are loving it so far. <laughs> And if you haven't seen LMR's upload, check them out as well because they give you all like the behind the scenes info on the build. I don't really know about the build. I don't even know the turbo sizes, but they go through all that information and you can find it on, you can find that info on their channel. Uh, so far guys, the response has been incredible and thank you, I appreciate it. I, I, I'm glad people seem to agree it was worth the wait and everyone really loves the fact that the turbos are up here in the engine bay and not down under the bumper. We wanted to do something a little bit different. Now, both kits have pros and cons. We wanted everyone to be able to see those twin precision turbos, mirror image turbos in all of their glory. So yeah, if you haven't seen that upload yet, either mine or LMR's, check it out, you're really missing out. And like I said, the C8 should be back here in the garage very, very soon. Mm. That's good stuff. Sugar-free Red Bull, my new kick. Moving on from the Corvette talk, the Viper giveaway is over, guys. That's right, it's over. So you don't have to hear me talk about any more Viper merch, uh, but the giveaway is done and we'll have a winner for you in about 10 days. And the way it works is a third party company does all that stuff. They handle all the data, they handle picking the winner and it's done at random. And it's done by a company like that so that an, a licensed company so that you know it's random. Keep an eye out on Instagram and on my videos because I'll be talking about, uh, once we have a winner, I'll talk about when we're going to actually make the phone call. We usually try to do it on a weekend, like a Sunday so that we maximize the chances of someone being at home and not at work so that they can actually answer. I get people every time, so I feel like I should say, there is no criteria for a winner. You know, we always get people like, oh, please pick me. I could really use this car. It's done 100% at random. You know what? It's a beautiful day. I think we should go for a little drive in this car. Oh yeah, the 2010 ZR1 is for sure the choice for the weekend, you know, fun car. Not that that one, like on a back road, that one's really fun and not that I don't enjoy it on back roads because I do, but this one being that it, you know, doesn't make a thousand wheel horsepower, it's a little bit easier to control and you can kind of use more of the car. Being a manual is really fun for that and I like having at least one manual on the channel. This was back in the day when every Corvette Z car was a manual. Hard to believe now with the C7, but back in the day, you could only get, if you wanted a C6, Z06, or a ZR1, it was manual only. That was your only choice. You didn't even, it wasn't even a choice. You had to get the manual. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh. <laughs> totally different than the C7 is. And a lot of people say that car is the last of the traditional wild raw Corvettes, but I think this one is. I think the C7 is way more, you're way more cocooned from everything in that car. This one feels, uh, it feels wild. I do tend to make a lot of noises when I drive. That's because I'm nine years old, but let's talk business. Let's talk about the build for this car. And when am I going to ship it out? Well, I'm not shipping it out until I get my C8 back. So that's number one. Uh, as soon as that car gets back, this one's gonna go out. That way we have a spot in the garage for everybody and uh, nobody gets jealous. But yes, when the C8 comes back, this car will be going down to LMR, same shop. And I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do a street build. You know, we're not gonna do anything crazy, not a drag build. We're not going turbos. We're gonna keep the stock blower 
and we'll just do a max effort stock blower car. And it should make 750 wheel pretty easily, I think. Uh, I'm 99% sure we're going to remain on pump gas only. So if we went if we went E, we could go above 800 wheel very easily as well. But I think we're going to keep it pump gas. All my cars are pump gas because that's what's available around here. And I don't feel like worrying about where E is and if I ever take it somewhere, if I take it to Florida, whatever. It's nice not having to worry about finding the right gas i can get i can get the gas i need anywhere so we're keeping it pump gas we're going to do ported blower from kong maybe a ported uh, 2650 blower on here gonna do heads cam maybe not even heads I, I feel like heads isn't worth it like my c7 has stock heads it still makes over 900 wheel and i saved about 3500 bucks not doing the heads so we may just do cam and then full bolt-ons like cam intake full exhaust pulley ported blower and that's about it great thing about these cars is this car weighs about 400 pounds less guys 400 pounds less than that's like half a gorilla 400 pounds less than my c7 zr1 it could be about as fast as that car making you know probably a hundred less horsepower and that's pretty cool so you don't need as much power when you don't have as much weight and <laughs> And it really does feel every bit of 400 pounds lighter. <laughs> it's so loose in the back compared to the C7. And it, this is stock. It makes way less power. Uh, now, I do need to get a better tire on it. If I had an R888, I'm sure that would help tremendously. But, but it does not have the aero of the C7. It doesn't have the mechanical grip. It just doesn't have all that helping it. So it's really a hand. She's a handful. It's kind of the plan for the 2010 ZR1 here. Should be a really epic car. It's already really fun. Um, so it's gonna, it's gonna have more power. It's gonna sound better. She'll be wild. I was gonna move this car and not film it because I'm just, you know, getting a picture and it doesn't really have anything to do with the upload. But I figured I can't jip you guys out of a cold start, so. into the future compared to that car over there. Perfect. Okay. Well, now that everyone within a half mile radius is awake, get our picture. Now that we have the vets outside together and they do look great, they really do look great next to one another. It's pretty cool to own a C6 generation ZR1 and the C7. Now all I need is a C4 ZR1, actually a really cool car. It was one of the only Corvette, I think maybe the only Corvette that ever had a dual overhead cam. These are all, you know, single cam engines, um, single cam pushrod engines. Um, and it was, the engine was developed with help from Lotus and the car made 405 i think it was 400 or 405 horsepower back in 1994 or 1995 that was a lot of power back then so the c4 zr1 is actually on my list of cars to buy eventually but let's talk about what i think i'm going to title this upload and why i'm sure many of you clicked on the video and that is the next giveaway car so now that the viper is done what is it? What car am I giving away next? Could it be the C6 ZR1 after all? No, it's not. And that's not going to be a giveaway car. Again, it might be like down the line pretty far, but I'm, I got a whole build planned. LMR is involved. We're going to have a lot of fun with that car. Not a giveaway. Is it the Lamborghini Urus? No, it is not because Gina would kill me. Is it my 1000 horsepower ZR1? Well, it must be not that either because I would never get rid of this car. I love it. I love it way too much. And uh, I don't think I would ever give away a car with quite that much power. I'm already like on the fence about that one. If I do end up giving it away, like I don't like that's a lot of power to give to somebody 
who might not have experience with that car. I might have to like take them out and it'll and take them out for a little couple spins and, and teach them a little bit if they don't have any experience with a car like that because that's no freaking joke bone stock much less with 700 something wheel and we're not giving away a toyota and it's not that's not even my car and it's not going to be that truck so what is it it's the high country that's right the high country is our giveaway going on right now it is live right now live right now in shanedesigns.com every five bucks you spend is worth 10 entries our biggest entry multiplier ever 10 times entries only live until july 4th to celebrate the holiday and to celebrate the launch of the truck every five bucks worth 10 entries now why are we launching this and why are we doing it right now well I should have known this was coming because I wanted to sell the truck, but I wanted to get my money out of it because I invested quite a bit. And I didn't make that much on the content because I only made a few videos. And it turned out awesome. So I wanted it to go to the right person and I wanted to make my money back. That's only fair. I got about 18,000 comments and DMs and emails. And uh, you know, I, spent a lot of time talking to people and I knew I knew this was gonna happen because it always happens with YouTube. I'm sorry for the people out there that I'm sure would have actually wanted it and made me a real offer, but I spent like three hours talking to people and one guy, I had it all down to like, he was literally gonna come to pick up the truck and then the day came and he was like, oh, I can't actually do it now. So it was like, I spent so much time on this deal and I, I even told other people like, no, nah, it's already sold. This guy's coming to pick it up and then no show and it's just that's that i can't tell you guys how many times that has happened to me um it's just the side effect of trying to sell anything on youtube now sometimes they come through like i've sold some stuff on youtube and it actually works and people show up but for this truck nobody wanted to pay the 70 grand for it and i feel like it's 100 percent worth 70 grand i mean for you to do this it would cost you at least 80 to 90. so i mean you're talking about a ten to twelve thousand dollar lift kit, and you guys have seen how it works. It's it's not just you know we don't I don't build trucks for show and like oh I'll drive it around a parking lot and then we'll give it away. Like this truck works in the real world for real. It freaking works. You've seen it on the street. You've seen it off road. It's no joke. Ten to twelve grand. You're talking four to five grand to install it. Eight thousand dollars worth of wheels and tires. It's an epic truck. Launching the giveaway, and this one's going to be a little bit different. Don't mind the handicap spot. That's ours, by the way. So you know, it's not even like it, that was for that building, but we own that now. Always want to make a point of that because if you see us parking there, it's not a real like handicap spot. We're launching the giveaway, and it's going to be different because it's very very short it's only going to be not you know not like the viper not even like the hellcat that wasn't that long this is only going to be for like about four weeks it ends in 25 days and you'll see the timer on the website on inchainesigns.com but it ends in 25 days i want to get rid of it we're banging it out i want to make the space in the garage for the new the big new vehicle I'm getting. So it's a quick one. It's gonna go fast. You guys know the deal. Beautiful 2020 High Country Duramax, all the options. You got a wireless charger right there. Oh, who's popping? He's still popping down there. Love it. Uh, but yeah, 2020 High Country Duramax, all the options, everything you could want. You got your air ride controls right here. It's got like 13,000 miles on it. Everything's mint condition now. Um, it's got like new paint on some of the panels. It's just, I mean, you can look like this truck, you can look up close on anything and you won't find like no corners were cut on this build. You won't find anything that's like, oh, that looks a little sketchy. Everything is solid. I mean, it, it's, it's unreal how nice this truck is. One of my favorite builds, but I got to make the space. I love this. I'm going to, I wish, I wish my truck had this press the button goes back up on its own goes up on its own uh so that's really cool fab fours bumper up front with the led lights and when you press like the key unlock and everything those come on and they're operated with a switch inside so it's not like a you know there's no like extra switch it's just your normal fog light that the fact the factory fog light switch and those come on as does that so it's really neat and yeah that's it so get your entries get them now before the 10 times multiplier ends in shanedesigns.com if i had unlimited money and space i would keep it unfortunately i have to make room which is good for you guys because one of you 
will be taking it home and that is the next in Shane Designs Street Speed 717 giveaway, the big old high country. If you enjoyed this upload, give it a big old thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.